Hey. Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Uh, this is Srinivas Pujari. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to change the connection from Excel to SQL Server. Okay. So for that, I'm going to take some sample data. Let's connect with the, you know, get data and then Excel. So this is the sample data. I have that in my, you know, only I'm, I'm not focusing on the data guys. I'm mainly focusing on the connection changes. Okay. So I have taken very few records. Uh, that's only uh, only three or four records. Okay. So four records I have taken and uh, load the, load this. Okay. So now the data is loaded. So let's add the data. ID and then name. So let's convert into you know table. Uh, then uh, salary. Okay, you can go with the department and then email ID. Okay, so now, so I think ID is counting. So let me order this ID and then make do not count, do not summarize. Okay, so how many records we have? Four records we have. Now, when I connect with the, so same table, same employee data. So we have, this is the employee table, employee data we have. The same employee data I have in uh, SQL support. So, but here I have seven records. Okay, here I have seven records. Okay, let's see uh, that in action. Okay, how to change that uh, connection and all. Well, for that changing the connection, let's go to the transform data and then uh, connect your SQL server. Let's connect to your SQL server. And so mine is local server rights. That, that is the reason I'm going with the dot. And then so connect uh, your you know SQL Server connections like SQL Server SQL One. There is an employee table. We have employee uh, details. In that I have this table. So just click on that. Uh, click OK. So now uh, even we have uh, this Excel data and then uh, even Excel data. We have even SQL Server data. So to change uh, um, uh, Excel connection to SQL, you have to copy uh, like advanced query editor like m code so for that you can right click go to the advanced editor or else you can you know select this day uh sql connection and then you can go to the advanced editor so two ways okay let's take a copy so you can take this copy whatever we have and then so let's cancel this okay let's cancel this and then go to the excel connection and go to the excel connection advanced editor click on advanced editor and then paste as it is whatever you have so if you have any extra uh, steps applied so so just table till table you can copy um so if you have any extra you know steps you can keep as this so and also this is the last step right so you can take this one into in okay so now done okay and then click done okay see seven records so now you can delete this one uh, so this way we can and also we'll see uh, in next video we'll see how to change the connection dynamically okay how to change the so user can select excel uh, connection whenever he want to see excel and also user can see sql server whenever he want to see okay that we'll see tomorrow video so for now so how we can change from sql server to uh, excel to sql server okay that's what okay now so earlier we have only four records so when I apply close and apply, it should uh, change to uh, five, uh, six, seven records. Okay, just close and apply. So, so this is the way we can change the records. See, seven records are coming. So ID is not coming in proper order. So you can click on ID. So it will start seven records. Okay, this way we can change the connection. Okay, from Excel to SQL Server. Hope you like the video. Uh, please subscribe my channel if you watch the first time. And also give me a comments like which video you want so that I can create a video and then post it in um, for you guys. Okay. Hope you like. Please, you uh, know, to encourage me, please hit the like button and uh, share for more people. And also subscribe my channel, guys. Okay. If you, so for more videos, definitely I'm doing daily one video. So, so it will be helpful for you guys. Thank you.